my guys. In a previous video, I'll link it in down below, I've explained what a capstan does in a cassette deck. It essentially is the device which ensures that the tape is pulled across the tape head at a predetermined speed, the correct speed for that tape. Now I've been asked a few times what a closed loop dual capstan is and what's the difference between that and the single capstan. So this video is going to be a short video just explaining what the closed loop dual capstan is. There are actually three different types of capstan in a cassette deck. You've got the single capstan, which is a non-auto reverse deck. And I'll show you that in a second as to why that has to be the case. Then we have a dual capstan auto reverse deck. And then we have the closed loop dual capstan non-auto reverse deck. So this one, this particular one we're looking at today, which is a Denon DR-M24HX, is a three-head closed loop dual capstan machine, and that is non-auto reverse. If we show you inside, we can see our cassette head in the middle there. And as I said, this is a three-head deck, so you've got the erase head, and then we've got the record head and the playback head together on this block here. But this could be a single head here, it could just be a two head cassette deck um, and still have the dual capstan. So the first capstan is here. This is always in this position, whether it's a dual or a single capstan. The second capstan is here before the head. So you have one before the tape head and one after the tape head. Now, as we know, this capstan here determines the speed of the tape across the head and it draws it through, it pinches it between the pinch roller and the capstan and pulls the tape through. With a closed loop dual capstan, the closed loop is meaning between the first capstan and the second capstan. And what it does, it pinches it before and after, and it also stretches the tape ever so slightly to ensure that there's no ripples or bumps in that tape. The tape isn't loose across the cassette head. It's, uh, it's taut and uh, pulled just across that, that head there as it goes across. And it just ensures a bit more stability with the tape. So there's no chance of that tape lifting up at all. They normally have like a little pressure pad as well, pressing down, but it's more to do with the speed of the tape. So let me draw this out for you on a diagram and show you what's going on. So let's draw our cassette shell. We are. We've got our two spools of tape inside. We've got our playhead. Well, it could be a play record head. So if it's three head, you've got the erase as a separate head, and then you've got the record and playback. Or if it's just a two head, you've got the erase, and this is a combined record and playhead. But in regards to the capstan mechanism, that, uh, that's ir irrelevant what sort of head you've got. And we've got the capstan and the pinch roller. And inside the cassette shell, you've got a couple of guide wheels as well, just to guide the tape to the corner. So the way this works is the tape comes from the supply reel, around the guide, across the playhead, it's pinched between the pinch roller and the capstan around this other guide and back to the take up spool and the tape travels in, in from left to right across this head. So this is what a single capstan machine looks like. And this capstan is a predetermined speed here. This determines the speed of the tape across the playhead. Now what can happen in terms of the quality of the sound and stability of the music. The tape here is free to move up and down. So there could be a slight vibration in the tape here, just moving up and down. And this could affect the contact of the tape on the playhead itself. So the only point where it's drawn through is, is actually gripped the tape is here on the capstan. 
but all the tape before here is free to sort of wobble and move around. And the idea of the dual capstan or the closed loop dual capstan is to have another capstan here and another pinch roller. Now, you'd expect these to be running at exactly the same speed. So the tape comes across at the same speed. In actual fact, in a closed loop dual capstan system, this one is running very slightly faster, just a very small percentage faster. And the idea is that it keeps the tape nice and tight across that playhead. So it's free to wobble here if it wants to, and it's also free to wobble here, but across the tape head, it's tight and taut across that. So it, it, it doesn't lift up and there's no movement of that tape. And that makes for a better sound quality. So if you're specking out one of these tape decks, if you can find one which is a closed loop dual capstan, this particular one's a three head, but you can get them in two head as well, then these are the better quality decks. These are the ones that are meant to sound better because that tape is, um, is, is secured across that tape head. Now, there are two capstans in an auto reverse deck, but it's not a closed loop dual capstan. So I'll quickly show you what the difference is with an auto reverse deck. If we draw out our tape again, there's our head, spools, guide wheel. Okay, so in an auto reverse deck, you have capstan and a pinch roller. I'll draw this one engaged. And then the other one is here, and I'll draw this not engaged. And the tape around here, across the head, back to there. Okay, so this is an auto reverse deck. Only one capstan is engaged at one time. So it's essentially a single capstan machine. There's only ever one capstan running, but you've got a mirror image of the other capstan on the other side for when it reverses the tape. So in this mode here, the tape is running from left to right across the head. When you press the auto reverse for the tape to reverse the other way around, tape will switch direction, but it does that by disengaging this capstan. So this capstan will lower down here. It's not very <laughs> a bit messy there. That will move down and this capstan will move up and engage on this side and the tape then reverses. So it's this capstan that's pulling the tape the other direction. And that's how an auto reverse deck works. The head can either be a dual direction head, in which case it doesn't move, it stays fixed and will activate one side of it when the tape's running from right to left and it'll activate the other side of it when it's running left to right. Some auto reverse decks actually switch the head round. So when these capstans move direction, also the playhead will actually physically turn around on a little turntable and um, be able to read the tape in the other direction. But I just wanted to show you that because auto reverse decks have two capstans, but they're not the closed loop dual capstan. The closed loop dual capstan, both capstans are activated at the same time to stretch that tape across. In an auto reverse deck, it's essentially a single capstan when it runs this way, and then it's this single capstan when it runs this way. So two different things. Don't confuse a dual capstan with an auto reverse deck. So that's how the closed loop dual capstan mechanism works. I'll just try and show you that on this particular deck. So hopefully you can see that we've got the playhead in the center. This is the first capstan on the right hand side, which is at the moment it's not engaged because the deck is switched off. And then we've got the second capstan on the left hand side here. So there's the capstan, there's the pinch roller. So if we activate the play mechanism, I'm just going to press the uh, little switches at the top here, which 
let it know there's a tape in there and press play. You can see that both capstans move up at the same time to engage that tape. One here, one there, and they're both running in the same direction, of course. Now, if this was an auto reverse deck, when I press play in one direction, this capstan would move up and engage, and this one would just stay in the down position, not being used at all. And then when you reverse the tape, this one would come up and this one would go back down again. So decks with the closed loop dual capstan, they are the better sounding decks, they're the better quality decks because it keeps that tape uniformly across the playhead. So that's it for this video, it's just a short one. I just wanted to show you what the closed loop dual capstan was and what the difference was between that and an ordinary deck with a single capstan. A couple of people had asked me what the differences were, so hopefully that's made that clear. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will answer those for you. But thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.